Fellow coach Wayne Jones, Hot Point Central Bison coach. Uh, good week of practice coming out of last week. Now you go full steam this week. Can you give us the inside on the first part of the year going here for you? Well, you know, it's an early season. We want to make sure that we can get more points and get sharp as we can right now. Uh, got some young guys out there that can fit in. Get some continuity going with our team. With the uh, new members that we have, we got some guys that we had to replace last year as far as the receiver return. It's going to be a busy week for you too because you got a game I guess coming up week from this Friday. I guess you got a scrimmage or two this week? We have a scrimmage this week. We're going to scrimmage West Forsyth on Friday and then the next week we play our, our rival. We have open up with Andrews. That's a pretty tough way to start it out. It's kind of a shame in some ways that's such a big game. It comes so quick then you got to get back to others too. Well you know all the games we play are big but you know this is the biggest game that we have. Uh, it's always a crosstown rival. City championship. What about uh, you look at the lineup this year? You got some players back. What about a quarterback? How's that looking for you? Well, quarterback, we have a guy who's going to be a second year starting. Uh, he's probably one of the best quarterbacks in the area. Uh, got a good strong uh, fast quarterback and do a threat. He's a runner and a passer. What, what makes him so strong? I've heard his name Johnson, the Johnson kid. What makes him so strong? Well, it's just the fact that, you know, he's, he's a big kid. He's around about 6'2, about 185, 190 pounds. He's about 4'4, 4'8. He throws the ball really well. You gotta defend two things when you get ready to play us. You know, you're not gonna just be able to say he's not a pocket passer. You know, you can sprint him out, and he can also run the football. The well, good options. thing about what you've had all the time over years, you've always kind of uh, highlighted and focused on team speed. That's always been a big plus for you. Yes, anytime that you can put speed on the field, and uh, you know, speed kills. That's one thing everybody always says. But if you can catch the ball in wide open spaces in a spread offense, and you know, it's, you know, you get big yards and also big plays. What about at running back? Uh, who's going to be the top running back for you this year? Well, right now that space is kind of up, up in the air, but we have a kid right now who transferred from Southwest, uh, John Irvin, who's working at that spot right now. And John's worked really, real hard in the spring, and he's, he's worked hard in the summer. And right now we're going to see what he can do. And if not, then we have some other backups, uh, sophomore Caden Logan, that might get the opportunity to play that also. What about uh, receivership this year? I know Johnson can throw the ball up field pretty good. Have you got any uh, LaShawn Monks, any kids like that around this year? Well, we got some monks in the make. <laughs> That's good. That's good. But yeah. We do have a kid named Jerron Foggy who is uh, oh, about 6'3", yeah. 200 pounds. He was uh, a sophomore receiver for us last That's year. That's a good target. Probably has the best hand on our team. And he'll be probably our primary guy. We'll uh, have another young man who played soccer last year who was a goalie. who now decided to play football. He's a 6'2 receiver, 180 pound kid named Brandon Cooper. And uh, we have a young kid, a sophomore, uh, Jamil Mack. He was a speedy kid because he was also a backup quarterback. He was a kid at quarterback to JV team last year, wasn't he? Yes. That did a good job with those guys. Job. And then we have uh, Jamel McKee with a 6'3 receiver, uh, running 4'4'8 in the 40. And, uh, you know, we got speed. I tell you, that former soccer player could make a pretty good receiver. He's got to have good hands, you exactly. think? He's got good hands. He's got good hands. Think about him right now. He's got to get, get, get hit some. You know, in soccer, you don't have no pass on. You're not banging right. to each other. So, you know, he's done a good job of catching the ball 7 on 7 uh, this, this year. Uh, this summer, and right now he's catching the ball well. So, you know, we get contact and we'll see what happens with contact. I tell you on that defense, I've heard good things about Reuben Crosby. Don't know all the players, but I have heard his name. I looked at some of his numbers from last year. Very impressive. Reuben this summer did a great job. Went to a couple of camps, ran 4 5 there for them. Uh, he's 6'2, about 200 pounds. And, you know, he's fast. He's a big, rangy kid that uh, you know, makes a lot of plays for us. What about uh, the other kid I've heard some things about, uh, Pratt? Oh, Jermaine. Jermaine's an uh, excellent, excellent player. He's been offered by four different Division I schools right now. Uh, 6'3", uh, about 195 pounds, uh, strong safety. He was one of those guys that started for three years. With what do you think is probably the strength of the team as you get ready to take that scrimmage, put it together against West Forsyth on Friday, and you got your first game against Central a week from this Friday. What do you think the team's strength will be this year? It's just team speed right now. Team speed. We got a lot of guys that are fast, even our defense line. Uh, they're, not, they're not as big as the defense line that we had in the past. They're probably a little stronger. They're stronger than the defense line we had, and they're also faster than the defense line we had. How about your kicking game, looking at that this year? Uh, strong let's kicking go, game. Go, go. Johnson uh, kicked for us last year. Um, does a great job getting the ball. He can kick the ball five yards deep in the end zone. He's a young punter for us also, and he's also a uh, person that kicks off for us. And he keeps like some punts and kicks a field goal. And he's done really well at some camp this summer, so we're looking for good things out of here. That's probably a big thing. It all comes down to what the guys did during the summer. They come out here like last Monday, and they come out and try to get started then. It's not going to work, is it? It's a difficult process. That's yeah. one of those things where you start football practice probably started in, in March. So you, know, you got to start in March and, uh, you know, with your spring practice and things. 
You know, you can't just come out for one week and then decide to be a football player. Do you get a lot of these kids to try to get them involved in your track program? You've been, took a lot of pride in that, done a lot of work in that track program over the years. We always try to get all our football players as many as we can to, uh, to come out and run on track. Just nothing but help with our team speed and also just keep them around each other all year. You know, for a good uh, team uh, continuity. Yeah, continuity, keep everybody kind of bonded together. Yes. Coach, I'm going to let you get back to the drills. Appreciate your time. I'm going to shoot a little bit more videos to go through this afternoon. Good luck to the Bison. And uh, thank a lot of that High Point Andrews program. I'll have the inside edge. I'll be pulling for you guys in that first game. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coach. Take care. Right. Hey, D-Line, let's go, baby. Come on, come on.